welcome to Let's Play Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII Demo. Guys, I'm kind of excited. Just gonna say, I'm kind of excited. I, uh, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3. I'm going to be playing the real thing on the Xbox 360. I already have it pre-ordered. I'm gonna check what we have for settings. Might have to change some of these. I'm gonna turn, excuse me, I'm gonna turn magnify font on, just so it's easier for you guys to read. Uh, check these things, check these. Camera mode at battle start, default. Curious what that's gonna happen. I don't really need to be connected. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Looks good. I'm gonna turn brightness up a hair. Because I like to do that. Okay, guys. Let's go. You use various networking, yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. We know about that. Not, not today. We'll, we'll probably do some of that in the actual, if I do a Let's Play. I think I'm gonna do a Let's Play. Pretty sure I might do one. When I awoke from my dreamless sleep, I was just in time to witness the end of the world. I love how this has the train scene at the very beginning, just like they did in the original Final Fantasy XIII with the train. It's beginning. That voice sounded familiar. The feast at the end of time. The last revelry to say farewell. The people here know that it's almost over. Thirteen days to go. Now the opening cutscene was just this without voices, so I skipped that for you guys. I watched the whole thing, of course, but uh, I'm just going to skip that for you so you get into the action real quick.
It's over. You're a regular angel of death, Light. So now what? This is the bit where you save my soul? I could help you, if that's what you want. Damn it! What kind of answer is that? <laughs> Now that isn't going to work. <laughs> Lumina! Now that's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away. <laughs> I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. Oh. No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will. Okay, Snow is still freaking awesome. I just want to say, I listened to this scene, watched it in Japanese, and it was amazing. It was completely different. The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel, presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God. Sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved? My younger sister? How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hope Best Time. Any ideas? What do I do next? Blake, come on. Just call me Hope, okay? Right now, your number one priority is Snow. Don't let him get away. But yeah, it was a really awesome scene. Snow was, instead of being, uh... Yeah, we got a tutorial here. Instead of being all angry and stuff, he was really more sarcastic. It was a really cool side to, side to see. And I think it looked... You know, both, both actors did an amazing job, both Japanese and English actors. Of course, you know that uh, the actor for Snow is my favorite English voice actor ever, so here we go. Let's see, we got Thunder, Guard, Attack, and Blitz. I don't know why we would need Blitz right now. Uh, using attacks and other things uh, start to take your ATB out. You can switch Schemata. Like this, which has Heavy, Slash, Guard, Attack, and Frost Strike. Let's see what... Yes, I, I know. You can't read. Schema is used to give. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, yep, we know that too. We we know. Quick freeze. Me. And now he's staggered. Okay. I thought that that I was actually going to get more information here. <laughs> So I could have done that a little faster. So yeah, as you saw, she switches between outfits which have different arm on. Different schema have different abilities. And, uh, wow. That really hit his stagger point really quick. Uh, you can see the... Okay. 
This is my first time playing this, of course. Deemed safe. I guess that means clearing out all the monsters, right? Your luck just ran out. You can see the uh, the stagger bar has changed significantly. It's now uh, kind of waveform. This is extremely simple. I kind of like the waveform, actually. I like the numbers better because I'm weird like that. Guess you're an enemy. No? You are. <laughs> I almost got hit. I didn't know there were actually people here. Guarding tutorial. Sure, why not? Hold down square to guard. Uh, you have different types of guards. You guarded! Yay! You can uh, recover with a health item. Uh, lightning does not automatically heal, which is a major change outside of battle. Press triangle to open the menu. Make sure you keep an eye on her, her uh, healy items. So let's... I will fight evil. Let's uh, do some attacking here. I need to actually... Let's do this. And, uh, I'm still really getting used to this. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've taken out a few enemies... Well, we get a cutscene. Door opens. Great, so... The doors opened, and the cutscene actually showed us where the door was, which is really useful. I'm just going to take a look around. Um, you can see there's a timer in the upper right-hand corner. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what that timer does yet. We will see in the actual game. Which, as I said, I am planning to LP it. We will see what happens, though. Before we head through this door, I'm going to take their advice and take a look at my schema here. I have a couple of X potions, a Warrior's Potion, which casts Bravery and Faith, and a Holy Water, which protects and shells. That's pretty nice. Uh, we have the map. Just a map. Uh, settings, which we already saw. Customized Schemata. Oh, goody. We have a few fun ones here. The Dark Muse and the Black Mage. We also have Red Mage. Oh, goodness. That is definitely a Red Mage. Uh, Heart Stealer. That's an interesting title. And Dragoon. Which doesn't look nearly as much like Fang as I wanted it to, but it, it reminds me sort of Cecil, which I guess is something that they were going for. So let's take a look at what we've got. we got The Savior. We have Thunder, Guard, Attack, and Blitz. We have Dark Muse, Heavy Slash, Guard, Attack, and Frost Strike, Black Mage, Blazaga, Guard, Rapid Fire, and Quick Freeze. Red Mage, Deep Protect, Mediguard, Light Slash, Buster Ruin. That is really interesting. Deep Protect, Mediguard. I kind of like that. Hard Stealer, Leaping Rush, Evade, Attack, and Punt. Um, okay. Dragoon, Lancet, Counter Blow, Beat Down, and Charged Strike. Auto Abilities... Jump, Soul of the Dragoon, Soul of the Thief, Soul of the Red Mage. Strength plus 80 for Dark Muse. Okay, so we do not have spare garb, so we can't do that. Uh, let's take a look. We have Equilibrium. We can change our weaponry, which will give us strength and magic boosts. Let me see exactly what we have for abilities here again. Thunder, Guard, Attack, and Blitz. So we have a significant amount of both. Uh, is that just our sh No, that's our web that's our outfit. Crimson Blitz, uh, that's Strength Up. Magic Up. Magic Up. Devil's Daughter, we have two of those. Uh, strength Up again. Wyvern, Lance. Stagger, Power, Up. Kinda like that actually. Um, 
And you also have the information up, up at the top that's all changing. So let's just take a look. We have our shields, which gives us max HP up, ATB speed, and guard defense. Oh boy. 500 guard. Okay, double cross. No max, max HP, magic guard defense, 50. Uh, double cross, Dragoon Gauntlet. I wonder if you can only use one at a time. So let me take a look. I don't have any accessories. Can I change these? I can change these. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Thunder, Guard, Attack, Blitz. Let me change this one because I don't actually like that. And um, cost is 20. What if I changed it? What is Punt? Swift Kick. Does little damage, but ATB cost is low and can make enemies recoil. Beat down. High stagger. Charge strike. Power increases longer. The button is held. Let's do Frost Strike. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Okay. Okay. So... How do I... Okay, switch to a different slot. Set as default schema. I'm gonna set this as default. Let me see again. D-Protect, Mediguard, Light Slash, Buster, Ruin. And... I think I'm going to switch that with Black Mage. And... See what we do. What else do we have? Not much. Uh, in the actual game, you can go in and customize the colors of everything. I guess that's not available yet in the, uh, in the demo version. Default just lets you run around in that outfit, which is really cool because it shows up in almost all the cutscenes. A glimmer of light appears at last. Is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope? I would like to bet on hope. If you believe you are the true savior, you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey. Okay, we can purchase Phoenix Downs here, which is useful. Limit to the number of items you can carry. Which I did notice that, by the way. We have 51,000 gil for some reason, and we can carry two more in Frost Potion. Adds in Frost. That's kind of neat. That's kind of really neat. I like that. I'm gonna pick one up. Because I don't see... Um, I can't sell anything. Because they're all equipped, I guess. I don't see any Phoenix Downs, which is what I was really looking for. Oh well. Start to get into the menu. That's gonna really... I just spotted Snow. Help me track him. Guy, you need to hurry. That's going to throw me off, because I'm not used to doing that. Yes, I know I can run R2. I don't want to hold R2 to run. Snow up to anyway? Where's he going? I'm getting powerful chaos for you inside the palace. I was trying to listen to the cutscene. That obviously didn't work out. Ow. Um... Let me, let me hit him. Yeah. I'm so not used to this at all. Ow. So not used to this at all. Yes, I already cast that, so I don't, don't really need to cast it again. Yep, he's dead. That could have gone a lot faster. I don't even have grade on this. I thought I would. That's exactly where he seems to be headed. What the hell is he thinking? Running straight into the chaos? Is he going there to try to stop it, or is it to use it against us somehow? Not ask yourself. This is for the future. Um, I was, I was wondering. Uh. Ow. What happens if I just kind of hold Mediguard here for a bit? And then... 
Can I actually hit him? That would be nice. That would be a smart thing to do. <laughs> what does Buster Ruin look like? Okay, that wasn't really that impressive. One thing that I like about the other Final Fantasy 13s is that you can tell what they're weak to a little bit easier. Now I need to figure out what the button is to, uh, uh, hi Snow, what button is to figure out their weaknesses. How high is the obstruction? Blade. Yeah, I know I can jump, thank you. Snow, the right, wrong button. <laughs> Do I have to wait for that? Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> yeah, this is a completely different battle system. I'm going to be terrible at it. I don't see it. Sure, he liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? Just like in 13-2, the, uh, I need to change my, my standard to this, I think. Just like in 13-2, you can, uh, you can deal a certain amount of damage, uh, at the start if you hit him at the right time. Doesn't look like he's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. So let's change my schemata and set this one to default. Because I'm using D Protect at the start here. Right. Do you see the ladder? You'll nope. need to use that in order to follow snow. Right, got it. Okay, well I guess I can do something with that pole. I know I can, but I just didn't quite do it right. We'll figure that one out later, I guess. I don't really like this outfit that much for running around, but it uh, gives me deep protect at the start of a battle, which is really useful. You can see the maps are not straightforward hallways as they were in uh, Final Fantasy XIII, which um, I guess is too bad. Snow came down this way, but it's a dead end. There has to be a way to get through. I'll look around. Well, there's this. What if I? Hit this. Yes. Easy does it, Lightning. When that door opened, chaos readings in the whole area spiked. The source of the chaos is in the middle of the palace, right? That doesn't make sense. The snow I knew wouldn't let things. So, uh. The close. That, uh, that was pretty simple. <laughs> Just kind of cast deep protect and then kill it. Right, can you hear me? The chaos is powerful in this area. I'm not sure what's going on. It's interfering with my secret source. I'll try to maintain the connection, but there's a chance we'll get caught. Oh, great. Well, what do we have here? here if you're playing around in the middle of this chaos I'm guessing you're not human <laughs> you can see when you're inside this stuff hmm then you can't be one of God's regular lackeys can you Yeah, thank you, Hope. That's helpful. 
Zaltus. Staggering tutorial. Let's hope I got the abilities to do that. Learn how to inflict heavy damage. Well, why not? Hit their weak points. Uh, here is vulnerable to magic. Hit it with magic like thunder. So, press R2 to Libra. That's nice. They tell us that now. Uh, so, let's just hit D Protect just, just for the fun of it. And, uh... Not sure how much good that does. Um, okay, his stagger bar is starting to do some stagger wave. Blah 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 blah. I want to use an infrost potion. Uh, frost strike. Here we are. Messed up there. I need to just, uh... You guarded! Yay! Uh, sometimes you get a chance to attack. Which is nice. Now he's staggered! So... Let's, uh... Let's do some damage. L2 is overclock. Time slows to a crawl for everyone except for lightning. This leaves enemies defenseless against her instantaneous flurry of attacks. Let's do that then. Uh, EP, but in return it can be used at any time. Keep an eye out for the ideal time to use overclock, which is probably at about the time you stagger somebody. Um, let's uh, cast a lot of thunder. Wow, that actually kind of did a lot of damage. Let's see. Looks like he's back up. I guard. Was that just like a a quick guard kind of thing? I don't know. I'm gonna try to use. It's nice that you can see what attacks I'm using. And gonna guard some more. It's nice so you can see what attacks I'm using while I'm using them so that you don't have to guess at what button I'm hitting. Uh, so I don't have to narrate, oh I'm hitting thunder now the whole time, which is really annoying for everyone involved, including me. Can I hit him? Yep. Okay. It's interesting that uh, I can't really... Yes! Uh, where's... I need more magic skills. I don't have enough magic skills. Yeah, that doesn't really help too much. Okay. Can I get him staggered again? Yes. Let's get up close here. Well, that looks like it hurt a little bit. Can I hit him? Please. Okay. Do more magic to him. He's almost down. Let me use a warrior's potion because I'm assuming that this is almost over. And, uh,. He's dead. By this I mean the entire thing. Yeah, that's that's not a great battle. But I'm still getting used to this. It's kind of kind of cool that I'm not used to this kind of attacking. I'm more used to the menu sort of RPG. You're given a battle score, yada yada. Uh blah overworld stuff. Demo comes to an end at 6 a.m. Keep your eye on the clock. Listen, Hope, I need more info. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? I've been trying to do just that, but it's no good. None of my instruments will tell me anything. It's just too hard to see. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's there, all right. But when they actually look into it, they can't pick up anything at all. 
Whoops. I'll have to remember where these uh, stops are. It's locked. Can I force it? For the cutscene. That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. <gasps> hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And snow's inside, or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? But you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. Now I could have stayed and uh, and done more in there without going to the cutscene, but I didn't know there was a cutscene that would end the demo. Um, doesn't look like there's too much extra there to go back and see, though. So that was the demo, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Not quite as in-depth as 13.2's uh, demo, but still an interesting look. I probably ought to play it a little bit and get used to the battle system. And I will see you guys next time when we actually play the game itself.